Welcome to class number 105 from the book of Acts. I am so thankful that God has given me the strength to do this. The book of Acts is a very special book in the special high Greek like the books of Hebrews and the book of uh, Luke. Paul Paul was in Rome, or coming to Rome, nearly in Rome. And he has had a hard, difficult, dangerous journey. Now he's about to meet some brethren in Rome. Years before, he had written a letter to Rome and sent it by the hands of Phoebe. And now he, they're going to see him for the first time and see the man that, that has uh, established them in the Word of God. Rome, the book of Romans is a fantastic mess message. I can't remember how many classes I did on the book of Romans, but it was uh, close to a hundred. And a book that is so deep in theology and doctrine in every way. Now I want to read this to you to begin with from the Amplified Bible from verses 11 through 21. This will be the second to the last class that we'll do in, in the book of Acts. Paul is trying to finish his race well. He's doing everything he can to lead every Jew and every pagan to Christ. Every Jew and every Gentile to Christ. Verse number 11 says, It was after three months' stay there that we set sail in a ship which had wintered in the island on Alexandrian ship. And on an island in an Alexandrian ship. The Alexandrian ship was a ship that was going from Alexandria, Egypt, carrying grain to Rome to feed the people. With the twin brothers, Castor and Pollux, as its figurehead. We'll get into that a little bit better later. Castor and Pollux. Uh, ships had uh, figureheads on them. Paul was in one ship that had eyes on the front of it painted. He said, we landed in Syracuse and remained there three days. Syracuse is one of the chief cities of uh, Sicilia. Sicily. And from there we made a circuit following the coast and reached Regium, and one day later, a south wind sprang up. Now this south wind is not going to thrash them and beat them to death like the other one. And the next day we arrived at Putilio. Putilio. There we found some Christians, brethren, and were entreated to stay with them for seven days, so we came to Rome. And the Christian brethren, there having had news of us, came as far as, uh, as the forum of Apius. This is the Appian Way. The Appian Way. And the three taverns uh, to meet us. When Paul saw them, he thanked God and received new courage. When he arrived at Rome, the centurion delivered the prisoners to the captain of the guard. Now, that's all in uh, parenthesis. It's all in italics because uh, that is from the uh, Textus Receptus. And, the te and no other text besides the Textus Receptus has this. Now, he probably didn't deliver them to the captain of the guard at all, but he reported to a captain about it. So, where you see that in italics, it's not in the original language. So, when he arrived at Rome... Paul was permitted to live by himself 
with a soldier who guarded him. Three days after our arrival, he called together the leading local Jews. And when they had gathered, he said to them, Brethren, though I have done nothing against the people or against the customs of our forefathers, yet I was turned over as a prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans. After they had examined me, by judicially examined him, legally and judicially, they were ready to release me because I was innocent and of any offense deserving the death penalty, and that's what the Jews were calling for. But when the Jews protested, I was forced to appeal to Caesar. Though I was not, it was not because I had any charge to make against my nation. I wasn't going to charge my nation, he said. I'm not going to bring any charges against them. This is the reason, therefore, why I beg to see you and to talk with you, since it is because of the hope of Israel, the Messiah, that I am bound with this chain. Now, Paul uses a, a little You might say uh, an opposite. You put a chain around your arm. This word here means to lie around. He said, I, lie, I lay around the chain. The chain didn't lay around me. It's a play on words. And they answered him, We have not received any letters about you from Judea, and none of the Jewish brethren coming here have reported or spoken anything evil against you. Now let's go back and look at some of these beautiful words and the wording that we have here. Medide tres mene, anex de then, en ployo para ke ka ma katoi, koti, that is, en te neso alexandrino. Paraseimo Dios Curios. And after three months, we embarked in a ship, having passed the winter in Alexandrian, with a sign, or marked by the sign of the Dias Kitty, of Castor and Pollux, the sons of Jupiter, by Leda, their mother, patron of. Uh, what we might call a saint or uh, patron uh, gods of sailors. Now, when the Catholic Church began to adopt paganism into the, into the Catholic Church, as we see here in a procession and what we call an evolution of theological excuses, so to speak, they have the patron saint. Who's the patron saint of the Catholic Church? Christopher. Okay. The, the patron saint of travel. And this is what this, this is uh, Castor and Pollux are the sons of Jupiter and Leda, and they are the patrons of sailors. In other words, these are the ones they pray to for protection. His ship had pagan symbols on, symbols on it. Verse number 12. Kai kata thantes eis sira kusos epi menomen hemeres tres. Having brought unto Syracuse, now this is the chief city of Sicily. This city was uh, founded by the Carthaginians. In 746 BC, this is an old city. Now we know later on that in the area of uh, of Sicily is where the Sicarii would escape to and found their colony here, what we call the the, the Sicarii or the Dagger Men, which would become later on the Jewish Mafia. And we remained there for three days. Verse number 13, O then, peri lontes, 
kate tesamen eis rogion kai meta meon hemera epi gergonomenu no tu the altar e eltomen eis potiulus. And from there, Othan, and from there, having uh, having gone around or, or cast loose, having taken a circuit to travel around, we arrived unto Regium. Ace Regium. Ace there is a little preposition, page 119 in the analytical Greek lexicon, and the idea, the grammatical idea of that is extension or limitation of thought or verbal action. And here, it means unto this place, right here, to this place, up there. Now, there are different Greek prepositions. I'm going to write this on the blackboard or whiteboard here for you. One of them is epi, and that means upon. Here we have an object, and that is upon the object. And then we have in, and here's the object, and it means in the object. And uh, he, he pair is, here's the object, and it's above the object. And hippo is a preposition, and there's the object, and it's below the object, under, hippo. All right, and then we have the word ace, a very unusual word. Extension, a limitation, or thought, or verbal action. And right here, it means, uh, there it is, all of it. Ace, right there. Ace can mean in front of, behind, above, and below, whichever way. Extension or limitation of thought or verbal action. Now this is just uh, uh, a few of them. Here's another one, pros. And here's the object, and that means to the object, toward the object. We just covered a few prepositions in Greek right there. Ace, region, and then we have chi. It's, the chi is a conjunction, page 208, and then meta. And that means with or after, after here, it's like a preposition of time. After one day, having come a south wind, that word no to, that means south wind, on the second day, the second day men here. We came and we, it sprang up and unto, here we have that word pre, ace again, uh, extension, limitation of thought or verbal action, that means unto uh, potelios. That means uh, to the Straits of Messina. Now, in World War II, this area will become a well-occupied and a playground of war between the Italians, the Sicilians, and the Germans, and the Americans, and even the French. <clears throat> now, the, Naples was the chief port of Rome, Naples, Neapolis. Neapolis means a new city, and Naples means that it's in Italiano, or it means in Latin, it means new city. Verse number 14. Who erontes adelphos para clethamen par altois epimene hemeros hepta kai hutos ace tain romain el thomen? Where having found brothers, these are uh, Christians that were eagerly, eagerly awaiting Paul. We were begged and pleaded with to remain uh, seven days. Now I want to tell you something. Julius was the uh, the main, uh, what we might, the head man of this whole group. 
He was a he was the man that was over all the other soldiers, Julius was, and Julius had showed much kindness to Paul. And this kindness continues to be shown to him right here. Because Julius knew that he and every other life on that ship was saved by Paul. They would be gone and done with. Over and dead, if it weren't for Paul. They owed their lives to him. And in this very matter, who told Ace Tain Romain, again, that preposition, extension, and limitation of thought or verbal action, unto Rome we went. Unto Rome we met. Now, this, these last verses of the book of Acts are the climax of the book of Acts. Paul finally goes to Rome. But Paul's ministry does not stop when he gets to Rome. All the time he lives there, he continues to preach the word of God. Kakathane hoi adelphoi akusantes ta peri himon elthane ace apon tesen himen akri apio foru kai frion tabernen terbernon os idon topalos Eucharistasos, to theo elape tharsos. And from there, this word here, like it's a conjunction and a preparation of place, and actually it's in the oblative. And from there, the brothers, having heard the thanks concerning us, they came unto the, the place of meeting. Face to face is what it means. The place of meeting face to face with us as far as the Appian Way. Now the Appian Way is still there. Now this is about 43 miles from Rome. Appius Claudius helped build this road or had this road built in in 312 B.C. That's an old road here. And I don't think there's any American roads that will last uh, three or four hundred years. And the Forum. And, and, th and the place of three taverns. Uh, the word tavern, th th we got a word tavern from this, it's tavernone. And this is a station about 33 miles from Rome. A tavern was an inn. A place of drinking and eating. Now we have taverns and saloons and things, and taverns and saloons, sometimes people eat in them, but mostly go there to drink and maybe watch Super Bowl or something. Whom, having seen Paul, having thanked to the God, he took courage. After Paul saw these men, and ho Paulos there, and ho there is a definite article. And it's a definite article, and it's nominative singular masculine, just like Paulos, nominative singular masculine, that Omicron Sigma on the end, or OS on the end of it, tells you it's nominative singular masculine. Second declension word, by the way. A having thing. Nominative singular masculine, the first there is participle, active voice. Having thanked, that punctilious sharp action. Having thanked to God, he took courage. The church here that it, that the, of the brethren, these brethren come all the way from Rome to meet him. Somehow they heard of him coming there. Through the birds of the sky or whatever. And the church there had long ago received Paul's letter to found them in the Word of God by the hands of Phoebe. Verse number 16 now. Hote de else thomen ace romain epi trape tu paulo manane cough he outone seen 
to philosophe auton stratitain. And he entered into Rome. He was permitted. He was permitted, Paul was permitted to remain there by himself, not in prison, but by himself. But he, with him is going to be uh, to falestonte, that means dative singular masculine, present participle active. There's going to be a soldier guarding him, and Paul is going to have a, a basically a handcuff on his right arm, and he is going to be chained to a Praetorian guard day and night. They will take times, they will come in there, they will take loose the, chain, the, the, the iron from the soldier and they will uh, put another soldier on there. And Paul is going to preach to every one of them, to the whole Praetorian guard. God is, God is using Paul and Paul is not wasting one minute of his life or of his time. Now he's got his own rented home. He's not in prison. He's on his own rented or hired house. Now here we said before that the Textus Receptus adds something which isn't in the original language at all. The captain of the guard hands over or is handed over to the perfect. 28.17 now. Again, to day, meta, himeros. Trace, sina, kalese, auton, tus, ontos, ton, eudeon, protus, sin, elthon, ton, day, auton, elegain, pros, autois, ego, andres, adelphoi, uthain, in Aption, Poises, To Lao, He, Tres, Este, Tois, Patro, Ois, Desmiois, Ek, Rusalomon, Paradothen, Ace, Tos, Keras, Ton, Romeo. Long verse. And having come to pass, look at that little day there. That day there is a weak adverse and conjunctive particle, page 185 in the analytical lexicon. Then it came to pass, third person singular, second aorist, indicative middle voice. After three days, he is going to call together for himself the C. Calaces day. That comes from Sincalio, or Sincalio. He's going to call together unto him the ones being the leaders of the Jews. And having taken together them, he kept on saying to them, I, ego, by the way, is an ominous singular first person pronoun. Men, Vocative, singular, masculine, uh, the, uh, the case of address, men and, br and brothers, the same thing, vocative, singular, masculine, or vocative, plural, masculine, that is. Nothing, face to face or against, having done to the people, here we have the word laos, it's lao, it's dative, singular, masculine, or the customs, the ethnic uh, backgrounds and practices of the ancestral fatherhood. He said, a prisoner out of Jerusalem I was delivered unto the hands of the Romans. Now the Jews had him delivered unto the hands of the Romans. We know that Lysias rescued him from the mob. Lysias. And Paul, and he was going to have him beaten and all this, and Paul says, do you, do you beat or you mistreat a Roman, soul, a Roman citizen? And he said, oh. So now he has a guard, 
an army going with him all the way down to Caesarea. And they have to guard him there because he's a Roman citizen. He has special rights. A prisoner out of all the parts of Jerusalem there. It's Jerusalem plural. Jerusalem. And it's obviously plural. All parts of Jerusalem that I was delivering out of the hands of the Romans. Who having judicially examined me on a crenantes, nominee plural masculine, first heirs, participle active. They did this. They kept on deciding, or they kept on wishing, to release me. Because nothing in any way for any cause of death to be in me. In other words, I am innocent. Both Festus and Felix, all believe that Paul should have been set free. But Paul had to use the right of a Roman citizen to appeal to Caesar to get free passage. And God had told him that he was going to, in a dream, in a hypnotic trance, he told him that you're going to go to Rome. Verse number 19, anti logon ton, de ton judeon, and the costain, epicalistes de, kestara, uk, hos, tu, Ethnus, mu, ekon, ti, karagorien. And then constantly speaking against me, the Jews. I was compelled, I was caused to an agony to appeal to, to appeal to Caesar. The word Kaiser comes from that word. It means emperor. Not as of the nation of me, having anything to accuse. He was a victim of Jewish hate. He was a victim of Jewish hate. And he was a Jew. He was an outstanding Jew until he became a Christian. He became a Christian because he saw that Jesus was the Messiah of Israel. That Jesus was the Messiah that was to come to save all men. John the Baptist said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world. Jesus talking to Nicodemus one night, for God, he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Dia tautain un tain etian parakalese himas edain kai prosalese and they can gar tes el pedos to Israel tain alison taute para keme. Because of this, therefore, the cause that I called you here. This is for this reason I called you here. To see and to speak for the sake of the hope of Israel. I came to tell you about the hope of Israel. He said, this chain, this halison that uh, I lay around. The word there is peri kema, that means to lay around. But he said, here I am laying around the chain. I am laid around the chain. God has protected me, and I'm in control still. The chain is not laying around me, I'm laying around the chain. I'm using this chain to preach the gospel. And he preached the gospel to the whole Praetorian Guard. The last verse, number, verse number 21 in this message now. Hoi de pros auton apon he made. Uthe gramata peri si edel zalmetha apotes judeos uthe para genomenos tis ton adelphon Apel Galen, he Alelison, T. Perry, C. Poineron. And the ones they said toward him, We neither have had official documents or letters about you that we have received from Judea, nor having arrived any one of the brothers. 
has message to us or spoke anything concerning you evil. They haven't got there yet. That's all I can say. They haven't got there yet because when they get there, they're going to uh, uh, spit a lot of evil toward the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul was here for preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to his people that he loved so much. He said, I would give my whole eternal soul in hell if I could save all of Israel. My heart desires for all of Israel to be saved. But you know something? God gives us a will, doesn't he? He gives us volition. When the Spirit of God calls us or we're convicted by the Spirit of God, we either rebel or we believe. And they chose to rebel. They chose to rebel against the Messiah, King of Israel. They, they falsely plotted against him. They committed perjury, attempted murder, and then final murder. Murder. They murdered him on false charges. And when he rose from the dead, they tried to stop and squelch that and say that he that his disciples say he rose from the dead. But you know what? Paul saw him again later on. Paul was among the unbelievers at that time. And now these unbelieving Jews, these non-Christian Jews, come to him and he tells them about Jesus Christ. The hope of Israel.